Welcome to another episode of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. Now you might say, Mama Cat, you look so fancy today. Why are you so dressed up? Well, I am having a dinner party tonight. So we're having some friends over and I have everything else ready. And instead of running out to the store to go get something, why not make it at home? I have the ingredients, things I always have on hand. So I'm gonna make some delicious s'mores brownies. And believe me, these are good. And the recipe will be in the description below. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do, oh yeah, since we're having a party, I'm getting started, you know, the hostess gets a little something. So, I'm ready. I've got my brownie mix. I'm using the Ghirardelli brownie mix, but you can use anything you like. This is double chocolate, so it has chocolate chips in it, and then, we're gonna put a few extra goodies on top to make it even better. First thing you wanna do is spray your pan. I always spray it over the sink because you don't want it going everywhere. And you just lightly spray it. Now I will make my mix and you just pour it in. Then you take one egg. That's how you do it on the mukbang. That's how you do it on Mama Cat's cooking show. And now you'll do one fourth cup water, one third cup oil. I'm using vegetable oil, but you can use canola oil if you like. You could use olive oil, but I don't generally bake with it because it's got more of a flavor. Put it in there. And now one fourth cup water, pour it in. You just mix it up with a fork. That's what I like about making a brownie mix like this. I'll make them from scratch sometimes, which is really, really good. My mom is like the queen of homemade brownies, Mama Jojo. Sometime we'll have to help her on and she can bake something with me. She's probably saying, no, I don't want to do that, but we'll make you judge it. We'll, we'll uh, co course her and tell her we'll give her a good beer, a good glass of wine and dinner, and then she'll do it. So you just, but the good thing I like about brownies is you don't have to get out beaters or anything. You just use a fork. Get it real good, Get make sure you get the bottom. Now you pour it in the pan. One thing with this brownie mix, they're all kind of a little different. I've made this with other brands and it comes out really good too, but this, I love this Ghirardelli, is extra good. So it's kind of thin, but we're gonna be putting some more stuff on it. So it's gonna get really, really good. Now we put it in the oven that I have preheated to 325. Let's put it in there. Okay, so I put just put them in the oven. Now you wanna set your timer for a less time that's listed on the box because it's in the bigger pan and it's a thinner batter. So I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes. So while you do that, you have a, a little cooking saucepan about this size, and we're going to make a special little frosting that we're gonna put on it. And this just takes it over the edge. So you wanna start off with some baking unsweetened chocolate. I have bakers, you can use whatever kind you want. And you put in four of these little squares a half a stick of butter, put it in. Then you just want to go melt it on your stove. Turn on your stove on about medium to get it going. And you keep your eye on it because it can burn. So you don't want to burn it. Your butter and your chocolate burn, you're going to have to throw it out. You're going to be mad. So what I'm going to get is my whisk and I will whisk it as it gets going. I forgot an ingredient, which is some milk. We drink almond milk in our house. Sometimes I buy regular milk or cream for cooking, but this will work. Then we'll put a little vanilla in it. I like pure vanilla. There's imitation, you can use that too, but pure vanilla is the best. Get that all together. We're gonna put in some powdered sugar, and you have two cups. You're gonna whisk it really good. It's gonna cook up in the pan, and then you can put it off to the side until you're ready to put it on your brownies after they're cooked. That's the next step. Let's go take a look at this and see how it's going. It's melting. I'm gonna watch it. It's starting to smell really good and chocolatey. Know with recipes, you can always change it up a little bit because I do that a lot. And that's really the only way you learn of you know what you wanna do or the taste you like. You gotta make it your own. And once you get a gist for it, you will. The first time I made this, I used a little less chocolate in it, and it was just a little too light for me. So I put in a little bit more, and I like it a lot better that way. It's just, it was just a little weak. So don't be afraid to uh, play with it a little bit. 
Okay, so this is already done. Woo! All right. Okay, so now I got my teaspoon. You're gonna put in a teaspoon of, of your good vanilla. And I let it overflow a little bit because it's so good. You can't go wrong putting in a little extra. Whisk it in to your chocolate and butter mixture. And now you'll put in your powdered sugar. I've got my almond milk, and so I'm gonna pour in a third cup of almond milk and pour that in and stir. And then pour in the rest. Now I'm gonna put it back on the stove. Turn it down a little bit, a little less than medium, so it can cook. Get all melded together and whisk it. Get it nice and smooth. It looks smooth as silk. Okay, so I took it off the stove really quickly because it was all melted and put together. And I did forget that I used a little more chocolate. So I'm adding one more cup of sugar. So that's three cups of powdered sugar, not two. So now I'm gonna add in one more. Whisk it in. This will make it a little thicker. It would have been not thick enough without that extra cup of powdered sugar. Get a good arm, little arm workout. You look good for the party. <laughs> Some recipes when you have to do the arm work, it's like you're so you're so glad there's electric beaters and like all of that stuff. Okay, so this is all done now. Let this wait until our brownies are done, and then you'll see what we're gonna do with it next. All right, so. Even though we set our timer, you still gotta keep an eye on these little guys because you never know what could happen. So take a peek every now and then. Okay, they're looking good. I can tell it's got a little bit to go. There's only a few minutes left. When you check when the timer's done, you're gonna take your toothpick and poke it. If it comes out clean, then you know it's done. And then if it doesn't, you'll set it for maybe like three minutes Sometimes too, sometimes you get a feel for it and you know it's gonna be a little longer and you can do it, but keep an eye on it because you're not gonna wanna be disappointed and get some dried out brownies. All right, so the timer just went off. So I am going to check these little bad boys. See that? Not done yet. So we'll put it back in and I'm gonna say three more minutes. Sometimes when it's between that 350 and 325 when you're baking, I'll turn it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna just turn it up to 340. I'll put all of this in the recipe. Okay, so now I took it out of the oven because I checked it with the toothpick. And you know what? It came out and it looked like it was cooked really well. And it comes out with a little bit on it because remember, we there's chocolate chips in here. So you're gonna hit the chips. So you can't bank on that and wait all day for that to not come out a little gooey on your toothpick. This is how you take them to the next level. Who wants a plain old chocolate brownie like this? You can have a s'mores brownie. Get your little bag of mini marshmallows. So just have clean hands and sprinkle some all over your brownies. Leave your oven on, don't turn it off. Just put them nice and even. If a few stick together like they do when you live in Arizona, that's all right. During monsoon season, thank you, Mochi. So you just sprinkle them on evenly. You're gonna want them pretty much all over because you're not gonna wanna eat a bite without the marshmallows. All of this gives so much texture. I'm not joking. I love this recipe. I made it with a few different recipes I combined and I said, this is a winner. I gotta do this for the show. I am going to be making this a lot more often. Look at this. Covered with nice marshmallows, mini marshmallows. Oh. Okay, now you put them back in the oven. They already look good, but they're gonna get better. Set your timer for three minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my oven off. They're, it's ready now to take out. Okay, so now the marshmallows have puffed up. This is where the s'mores comes in. So you've got your uh, chocolate brownie, you've got the marshmallows puffed up on top. Now you stir up your sauce again that you made, the frosting, and you just drizzle this all over it, nice and evenly. Get it in the corners, get it all around. Because you'll be so sad if you have a piece without. 
the frosting. Put it all on there. You think it's too much, but trust me, it is not. It's kind of a combination of a brownie with candy. This is what it looks like. And you're gonna wanna put it in your refrigerator and let it chill. Then take it out before your guests get there. If you're eating dinner, they can now sit out, but you want it to, to cool. And that's it. That is Mama Cat's Rock and Eats S'mores Brownies, and they are good. Thank you for watching. Come back next time. We're gonna have another delicious recipe. Who knows what it'll be, something fun. So have a good day, a good evening, and we'll see you next time on Mama Cat's Rock and Eats. I'm ready to party. Okay, I just it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think I just...